Okay. Any questions that people have about this? So we can prove. Yes. Is there a direct relationship between the curvature along one price dimension and the uh, elasticity for that curve? Absolutely. Because think about it. Think about the slope is this. So that's so. So C partial C partial P I, P J equals X J H of P one up to P N U bar. You agree with that, right? So then partial squared C partial P J squared would be equal to, which is how curved it is, is partial X J H partial P J which is how responsive is the quantity of good J to its price. So there's not just a slightly direct relationship. There's an extremely direct relationship between those things for the reason that I said a moment ago. At this point, the slope is 10. Why? Because I'm buying 10. At this point, the slope is only 8. Why? Well, the only way that slope can now be 8 is that I'm now buying 8. And the only way that slope can get down to 6 is I'm now buying 6. So this thing can only be as concave as this quantity is responding. This is not magic, right? The, the idea that some people, you know, sometimes when people first learn this, it sort of seems like magic. Wow, that just happened to turn out that way. It's not. It didn't just happen to turn out way. It has to be that way. The only way this slope can get lower is that the quantity gets lower. That's it. That's the only way. If the quantity ain't getting lower, the slope ain't getting lower. Right? It's, it's, not, it's not like some math magic of mathematics. It's, an, it's necessary by the economics. All right. Any questions that people have about that? People understand how that